I was so excited to be able to bring our staff as well as our trustees to the Maui Arts and Cultural Center, mainly because this is a great example of a gathering place. The Maui Arts and Cultural Center is a place where our community can gather. It is made up of two um, theaters. One, the Castle Theater seats 1,200 people. The McCoy Theater seats 250 people. Then we have meeting spaces. We have a 3,000 square foot art gallery. We have dance studios. You can see everything from intermediate school band concerts all the way to Elton John. We look at what is happening here in Hawaii that might be interesting to come to the mat, but also what is happening outside of Hawaii. The other thing that we are extremely interested in is taking the best of Hawaii to other places. I think arts and culture is a main driver for uh, the resources of Kaka'akumakai, mainly because we are known as uh, a music and dance uh, kind of people. We need a place where we can have hula competitions, where our artists can go to record CDs, where they can share their concerts right there in Kaka'ako. It's important that we utilize our land the best way we know how. A lot of revenues will be coming out of Kaka'ako Makai, and these revenues will be able to service all of our people all over the Pai Aina. Kaka'ako Makai is the last place on the ocean front in the center of Honolulu that is left for development. And I think it's just absolutely important that it be a Hawaiian sense of place that our people will be proud of the things that we decide to create there, the activities that can be had there. When people come off the airplane, uh, they, the first place they want to go is Kaka'ako Makai because they've heard worldwide about its culture and its real people. Our people coming from the neighbor islands, they should want to go there because it's there for them.